Welcome to the Atheist Experience. I'm your host, Matt Dillahunty, joining this week, Mark Lowy. How you doing? Pretty well. Thanks Glad for inviting me. Ashley is uh, out sick this week, so for those of you who visited the website to see who was going to be on, surprise! Mark filled in. I'm sorry he's under the weather. Yeah. Uh, he, he does such a great job when he's on, and, I, it, and my presence will probably help people to understand what a great job he does do when he's on. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure we'll all do fine. Uh, welcome again. As I mentioned, it's February 10th, 2008. We are live. This is a public access television program sponsored by the Atheist Community of Austin, a nonprofit educational organization promoting positive atheism and the separation of church and state. That word educational will come into play here very shortly um, as we're, we're going to be talking today about uh, Perhaps a little bit of science, a little bit of educational stuff, but I'll get more to that when we, we introduce Mark. We want to welcome everybody. Um, the audio portion of this program is available as a podcast download, and the video portion is available uh, with audio, actually. It's video and audio. Via Google Video, uh, you can find out more information at, at uh, atheist-experience.com. You can click on the link for archives, which will uh, show you all the shows that we have up there. It'll, it'll show a short list uh, because some of them fall off the list after time, but all of the shows that we have access to have been posted up on Google Video as far as I'm aware. There's you know, a couple hundred. Um, this is the 11th anniversary of the ACA this, this month right here. I don't think it's actually today. I think it was maybe two days ago. Um, I've forgotten the date. I forgot our birthday. But anyway, the the, uh, the atheist uh, the ACA the atheist community of Austin has been around for about 11 years. For more information about the the organization, you can visit the website www.atheist-community.org. Um, that will link to all of the programs that we do, the various uh, you know newsletter lecture series. Um, you can get more information there. There's also some contact information if you're interested in membership or participating in some of our activities. Um, the te television show has been on for 10 years. We just had our, our 10th anniversary show with some guests on not too long ago. So um, that's going well. It looks it's, it's starting to look more like it did earlier, I guess, because we got rid of the backdrop and, and we're on to just a blue curtain and, and graphics. Um, so after 11 years of the ACA, 10 years of the show, this is this is what you're stuck with, and uh, we'll be here trying to do what we can. As we, as I mentioned before, as I probably didn't, this is a live call-in public access television program. We'll have the number up for you shortly. Uh, for anybody wanting to call in, you can call in to talk about the topics that we're discussing or any other topic. Uh, why are we here? Well, it's it's largely to uh, just act as a as a conduit for the atheists in the Austin area to interact with the public, uh, to answer questions, uh, correct misperceptions, discuss First Amendment, church-state separation issues, discuss what people believe, why they believe it, why they think somebody else should believe it, why they feel justified in uh, attempting to legislate their beliefs onto other people, uh, why they think it's okay to pollute the public education system with their beliefs. Um, in addition to this program, the ACA also sponsors a bi-weekly internet audio podcast called The Nonprofits. That's P-R-O-P-H-E-T-S. You can go to nonprofitsradio.com for more information about the podcast. We'll be live again this coming Saturday, uh, February 16th from 2 to 3.30-ish uh, Central Time. The, we run a uh, IRC chat service in conjunction with the program where the people who are listening to the show live can interact, uh, ask questions, which we'll probably ignore and not answer, or provide us information on things that we've mentioned where we obviously don't have a clue what we're talking about. Um, no, we do. We have a lot of fun, uh, the, the folks in the chat room. You don't have to listen live if you don't want to. You can download the podcast afterwards. As a matter of fact, I think we can only host about 32 uh, live listeners. and. Um, it's full every week, so if, if you're interested in listening live and in participating in the chat room, uh, you may want to get there a little bit early. But you don't have to be too early because we have a habit of starting slightly late, especially lately. But uh, anyway, the Atheist Community of Austin, as, as a nonprofit education educational organization, in addition to, to the two media outreach programs we have, also sponsors a number of other events, including a lecture series on the first Sunday of every month. Um, this, the pa this, this past week was uh, the first Sunday, and we had Dickie Gregg come in to talk about uh, issues with Guantanamo. Um, we've had a number of other lectures, and actually that's what we're getting to here in a moment. That's at the Austin History Center, and the, the lecture in March, do we have the date for the March lecture? I think it's the second, but I'm not not certain. I think it may be March second, but it's the first Sunday in March, and actually Mark Lowy will be actually giving that lecture. Mark's a, a, a physicist, and he'll be talking about black body radiation. That's right. And so you know, it, 
kind of, you'll see a little bit, uh, maybe not about black body radiation, but you'll, you'll see a little bit about the, the breadth of, of a, ACA discussions and interests uh, today and more so at the lecture. We're not completely tied up in, in uh, issues that are directly related to atheism. We provide it as a public service topics of science, education, things that interest people, things that interest us. Uh, science education in the state of Texas is currently under threat, or, or at least um, if you're a rational person who embraces 20th and 21st century science, uh, it's certainly under threat. We've talked a lot about that on a few of the other shows. Um, so. Mark's lecture is going to be in, in March about black body radiation. You can visit the ACA website for more information about the lectures, to download some of the video and audio from past lectures. Um, I know that uh, the video for the last lecture that I gave on the history of hell is available. And the first lecture that I gave on the history of the biblical canon, um, I think the slides are up there along with audio, but I don't think there's video for it. Um, we can't have video of all of our lectures up there because we simply didn't get permission uh, to, uh, to put them out there for everybody. Uh, but keep your eye on the ACA website and the ACA newsletter if you're a member and receiving the letter. Um, with, for more information about upcoming lectures, um, I know that uh, Dr. James D. is scheduled for, is it April? Yeah. And, and I've forgotten who is in May, but uh, oh, May is the elections. That's true. May is the elections. So we've got le lectures lined up for a little while. Also, we had a board meeting this morning and discussed some options for lect lectures in the future. So stay tuned uh, for some, some potentially uh, interesting and, uh, and big announcements with regard to lectures. Maybe not. I do have one kind of side, side pseudo, it's not an ACA lecture, uh, but Richard Dawkins is, is coming to town, Austin. Uh, I think it's, we don't have all the details. We'll get more to you as we find out. It's tentatively scheduled for March 19th. We're not sure of the venue or the time, um, but this is part of a follow-up book tour. I guess now that the God Delusion is, is in paperback, they're touring a, a number of campuses. Um, in cities with major universities. They will be in Austin, according to everything we know, and we'll get more information to you as, 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 as we get closer to the March 19th date. Uh, in addition to all those events, the ACA sponsors a number of weekly meetings and, and events, including Atheist Happy Hour, which is at the Dog and Duck Pub, located at the corner of 17th and Guadalupe, every Thursday, beginning at around 7 or 7.30, um, and lasting until everybody just kind of wants to go on home. Um, and lastly, everybody involved in the program, or almost everybody involved in the program, gets together for dinner after the show at El Arroyo on 5th Street. The address is on your screen. Um, and uh, every, any atheist or atheist-friendly person is welcome to attend any of our events. You don't have to be a member. Um, you don't even have to be an atheist. Uh, but if you come down to preach, proselytize, or provoke, please don't. We'll have the number up for you shortly. You can call in, and, and we'll be happy to discuss just about anything um, within reason. As a reminder to ACA members, uh, you can get your newsletter submissions in anytime you'd like. And membership dues are going to be coming up before long. You need to contact, uh, the, visit the website, talk to any of the board members. Um, me biggest thing about membership is that it's an eligibility requirement for the elections that are coming up in May, and we'll have more information about that as we get closer. Um, so thanks, everybody, for tuning in.